Circle A has a radius of 3n and circle B has a radius of 129n where n is a positive constant. The area of circle B is how many times the area of circle A? A couple ways you can look at this. First, I have this circle. It has a radius of 3n. And I have this other circle. I am not drawing that to scale. <laughs> it has a radius of 129n. Uh, because you have your calculator, knowing a shortcut here isn't the most critical thing, but there is a shortcut. I'm going to show it to you after I show you the long way. So first, we want to find the area of both of them. We say pi r squared is the area. Here we have 3n. So 3n is my radius. So it's going to be pi times 3n squared. That square goes outside. Be careful of that. It is not 3n squared. Okay. It is 3n squared. <laughs> that is critical and it's an easy way to get this wrong. So we have pi times 3n squared is 3n times 3n or 9n squared. Same thing over here. We have pi times our radius 129n squared. So what's 129 times 129? 16,641 n squared times pi. So I want to know how many times bigger is this circle? Since I want to know how many times bigger I'm going to be dividing. So I have 16,641 n squared times pi divided by 9 n squared times pi. Those n squareds cancel out. Those pi's cancel out. I'm left with 16,641 divided by 9. And when I do that, I get 1,849. The shortcut way to do this is to look at these, the 3 and the 129, and to realize that those n's are kind of irrelevant because they're going to become n squareds in both of them and they're going to cancel out. And you go, how many times bigger is three is 129 than 3? This is helpful if you don't have a calculator, if you come across this kind of problem when you don't have one. It's a little easier to do the math. So 3 goes into 129 43 times. And you're, okay, because I'm going to be squaring it, what is 43 times 43? And it gets you to 1,849. Again, if you're using a calculator, there's no real difference in the amount of time it takes to do that. If you're doing it, if you're having to do this kind of problem longhand on paper, it will save you some time to get that realization. You can just uh, find the difference between those lengths and then square it to get the difference in the areas. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.